something that I heard from Patrick and Bet David a while back, uh, a concept, not, not, not a quote. He's talking about the concept of YouTube being part of your legacy and not just how-tos and stupid videos. This video may be more for me than it is for you guys, but I'll take you guys along for the ride anyway. Back when I was in elementary school, I don't remember a whole lot of times where I was pulled out of school early or skip the day for stuff like this. It's not to say that I don't value education, but my kid's in first grade. There is no possible thing that she's gonna learn on a Friday afternoon that it's gonna be a detriment to her learning career. So we're gonna go pull her out of school a couple hours early and go bomb up to the mountains and go cut down a tree. You got candy today. You gonna share? That's really nice of you. Awesome. What are we he gonna? wants to try one. <laughs> I do. What are we gonna go do? To go get the Christmas tree. But first. But first, cocoa. Hot cocoa. Yay! Woo! So often as my wife comes here, I better be sponsored. <laughs> Oh, pavement ends here in about 100 yards and I'll throw my bleeders on just pressure down so it's a little more comfortable for the girls but got a little mod that I'm gonna do back here in the bed for my compressor so, and I'll show you guys what I'm thinking about when I go to air up later on I recalibrated these recently so I'm hoping that they will do their job and stop at 20 psi These were taking too long for the girls, so I'm doing the air down mode. It's kind of finicky when I did the uh, Tyrod Canyon Trail in Vegas a couple weeks ago, but uh, I don't know if it's figured itself out or what, but it's now working, so. So here's something I don't understand. It's giving me a warning that I have low tire pressure. This one says 20. This one says 33. Same truck, look at that same shot. What gives, GM? For as smart as this truck is, it sure acts dumb sometimes. When I was in Vegas, I got a text message from OnStar letting me know my tires were low. Even though I activated the air down mode, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't wanna to go too fast because this is kind of a one and a half lane road, so. Maybe I'll let some more PSI out the back right when we get to a stop, but I don't want to go too fast. Monetized forecasting. Ugh. There's a little bit of snow. Yeah, a little bit. I think that happened last night. Nothing like it usually is. No. Why? No, stop! Oh my god! No! <laughs> well, it looks like we hit it just the right time. We've got a storm coming in tonight. It's actively snowing right now. Being Friday, there's not a whole lot of people up here. This is the weekend after uh, Thanksgiving 
uh, usually that Sunday or that Saturday is just slammed. We we're supposed to come out here, but uh, we didn't get the permits in time, so we're out here today. in the truck we are here at our little honey hole of Christmas trees and uh, you guys might be able to see the background it's all blurry because the new camera lens but uh, we've got our pick of pinion pines there ain't nobody around here we only passed a couple people coming in on the trail and uh, this valley is ours right now so let's go catch us a Christmas tree so how are you gonna catch a Christmas tree in that outfit <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I think we need a bigger house. Let's go walk up up there with all those trees up there and let's see. And I'm gonna be nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Barely 100 yards off the uh, road here. These nice pinion pines. But these ones are kind of small. So we're hoping to find a little bit thicker trunked one still snowing and we'll see what we can find in this little stand of trees here which one will we pick but it's a bit too close so this is an old burn scar you guys can see these little tiny trees growing up scarified and growing up so somebody cut down a little Christmas tree here But you want trees that are not super bunched up because they'll be shaded and then they won't actually grow on one side or they won't have any branches on one side. And these ones look to be pretty good. A little tall. I'm on a mission to look at this tree over here. We think we found one we like over there, but it's up in a little bunch of trees. And this one over here seems to be a little bit more full. Right here. It's wider, but yeah, it's wider, but not very full. So many to choose from. <laughs> I think I'm gonna title this video. What about this one? I told you it would take forever. Yeah. There's so many. You found the perfect one? All right, show me. So here's one somebody cut down last year. And another one from last year. That's a real good one. Well, do you like it, baby? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's cut that one down. Yay! Genesis is gonna grab it. So part of the stipulation was that it's within 10 feet of a living tree and uh, you gotta cut it within six inches of the ground <laughs> and it cannot be greater than six inches in diameter. So since we don't have a 14 foot ceilings, we're picking this one. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, come on, right through here. Drop 
I realized I failed to show you guys the modification I'm doing here in the tailgate yesterday when I was airing up. Some of you are aware that there's a 110 volt outlet here on some of the trims of the new Colorados and Canyons. This maxi track compressor pulls about 90 amps on startup. I had to take the compressor out, pop the hood, go to the front, hook it all up, the battery, all the fun stuff. Well, what I plan to do is put a 12 volt Anderson plug back here. So just like on the other side, I've got a nice open spot right here to add a little 120 amp Anderson and that'll allow me to plug in my compressor here without ever having to leave the bed of the truck. I'm working on this kind of receiver hitch snow plow thing and I need to power the winch somehow. That's another reason why I wanted the Anderson plug back there in the bed of the truck. I know I said in the beginning of this video this was kind of less for you guys than it was for me but I figured I'd at least put it together and share it with you guys anyway. Um, Truck did good, off-road, uh, goofing off with the family, uh, going fast, going slow, all the things. Uh, handled pretty good, uh, water crossings and, and whatnot. I'm super pleased with the truck all in. Uh, I cry once a month when I make the payment, but uh, all in all, it's a fun truck and I'm, I'm glad I bought it and have it now to uh, make cool parts for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of silly video. Um, do you guys have any other product ideas or any other content ideas you guys want to see on the channel, feel free to comment below or shoot me a message. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.